In this lesson, I'll be covering the design principle of hierarchy. Hierarchy is used to convey which elements on a page are more important than others. For example, you can use bold, large text in your headline, and it conveys that that message is more important than a smaller, simpler text. Using large, bold text, for example, commands more of the viewer's attention than small, lightweight text. Let's get into the Web Starts page editor and see how we can use hierarchy to command the viewer's attention. All right, I'm all logged into my Web Starts account. If you haven't already created one, be sure to visit webstarts.com and click on the Get Started It's Free button. Once you're logged in, you'll see the dashboard view. That's what we're looking at here. Hover over the thumbnail to your website and click Edit Site. This will open up the Web Starts page editor and that's where we can begin creating our web design. I'm going to start by creating a new page. So I click the new page icon. I'm going to select to create a blank page and then I'm going to give the name of that page hierarchy since that's the name of this lesson and that's what I will be teaching in this specific lesson. The main principle that you need to understand about hierarchy is that it conveys the importance of a specific design element and the way I'm going to do that in this demo is I'm going to add a headline of text by clicking add and then I choose text and then I'm going to select heading medium which is a fairly large text and then in order to in order to convey the importance of this headline I'm going to use the principle of hierarchy and so I'm going to use a few icons to demonstrate what that might look like. I'm going to start by selecting, um, let's see, I'm going to select some of these weather icons just for fun. Let's see, I'm going to duplicate that element just by selecting it and then creating the duplicate tool. And then you can see I'm using the guidelines to space those fairly equally apart. And then uh, down here, I'm going to add another paragraph of text. This is just going to be small text underneath each of these icons. Uh, actually, I'm just going to select that, duplicate it, and this is just a very fast way that you can create your layout by using this duplication method and then just aligning these elements with each other. And so now I want to draw attention to this uh, headline up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of negative space. That's what something we're going to cover later but I'm going to make this centered so it's in the center of my page and then I'm going to make it very bold. So I'm just going to click on the bold option and use the handles to expand that out so that it's covering more of the page. And now you can see that from the uh, perception of hierarchy, whatever I put in this headline is going to be the most important thing. So this is the most important thing. And then the idea here is that whatever is included in these paragraphs is going to be less important. Let me change out a couple of these icons real quick just so that we have some variety to look at in this demo. Let's see here. I'm going to make one the sun. So now you know just at a glance that this is the most important thing and that these are less important things. I can go through here and I can also center this text right here just by selecting it and then clicking format and center and then those things are so so you can put whatever text you want in there but because this text is smaller it is lower down on the hierarchy and you know just intuitively at a glance that's a little bit less important and then you're using the icons as well that kind of indicates that uh, it's not as important as this headline and you can just work through your pages and make sure you're using this principle of hierarchy to focus on the things that are most important on your page hope you enjoyed the lesson let's go ahead and move on to the next one and i'll see you there